time. Okay. It's going to be super casual. Okay. And I'm ready whenever you are. All right. Okay. So how has the use of one-on-one -on -one learning and technology benefited your students, do you think? Oh, it's been phenomenal because um, in the past, when I started advising, I would have to work on journalism projects with kids late at night at school um, at a computer lab kind of setting. And so working with students where they can learn all the tools of the trade during the school day and then take that computer home at night and work independently has been amazing in terms of freeing up um, time for myself and time for my students. Most of my students are very involved in extracurriculars and so this way they can participate in sports or the school theater performance band and not have to worry that they can't write a newspaper story or cover something for the yearbook. They can do both. Um, and it's wonderful because they often will take the work home and then I'll get a message or an email, hey, this is not working, help me, what, you know. And so then I can reply. And we can still do the coaching, but we don't necessarily have to be in the same physical space. Are there any criticisms of students using technology, do you think? In terms of, do you, feel, do you find out that they're, that they're less distracted on their phones because they have all the technology available to them? Do you, feel, do you feel like they're more focused in the classroom? It's hard to know. I feel that um, it's, really, it's really challenging for kids today to be focused uh, because there are so many things competing for their attention. Uh, and so I found in my traditional English classes that it's beneficial sometimes to say, let's close the computers for a few moments and let's look at a hard copy of the textbook or a novel and do some writing on paper. Um, that does seem to help them because often they want to listen to music or um, chat with a friend or, you know, there are all kinds of distractions. Maybe they want to look up the latest score for a ball game, that kind of thing. Um, but the resources that are available to them online are amazing and the kinds of things that they can do the, are limitless. It's really amazing to me the, the opportunities that they have. For example, tomorrow we're hosting Career Day and we have a number of former students who are now in professional careers who are going to do what we call a Google Hangout with our current freshmen. And so many of them are going to be essentially like Skyping in to show our kids their careers now. We've got a guy who graduated, oh gosh, probably five years ago now. No, it's longer than that because he's a college graduate and he's working for Jimmy John's. Um, and he, a, a, as a guerrilla marketer, that's his title, which is very, very cool. And he's going to talk about his position in California doing public relations and marketing and he'll be in California and he'll be on the job and showing our students what his what his career is like. And, and I think that's a great experience for our students to see that, hey, I can grow up in little Plymouth, Indiana and go out and do some really cool things. So it's really broadening their, their knowledge beyond the classroom because they're exposed to all of this. Absolutely. All, all these different opportunities. Great. Absolutely. Is there anything that you would like to add? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I, have, I have one quick thing. Okay. I'm sure. just curious about, and you can look at Monica and then after okay. I ask you. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. You can look at me while I sure. talk. Sure. Okay. Me. Got it. Um, <laughs> totally not confusing at all. Right. I, it is important to talk about, we can't be online all the time. Um, we've, we've had some conversations lately about sometimes, you know, you do need to just turn off the phone. You need to go for a walk. You need to get out and... Um, spend time with your family, spend time with your friends face-to-face, -face, not just online. Or um, So I think, I think that's an important part of the training. And definitely um, digital media resources and just talking with kids about what's accepted on social media is key to what we do. And we do have training for that. When they have an acceptable use policy that they have to sign um, as students and there are all kinds of guidelines. They're, they're made aware of what's acceptable, what's not acceptable, and so. Thank you. So Thanks. Thank you. I'm sorry. So sorry no. And you. and I, gosh, I hope I hope you guys don't use that. No, you're fine. <laughs> well, I think what you talked about is that like it's okay to.